All right, all right, all right. Leo, what it be, yo? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Viva, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Did you miss me, baby? Because I missed you. Shout out to all my babies. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. We are in here to find out what the energies are for Leo for July 2021, my dears. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys for coming in here and showing me some love today. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with me, only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page and uh, send me a message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. All of the links are in those uh, different sections, the description and the about tab if you want to contact me. And we're going to make it do what it do and I'll get you all scheduled and hooked up. Um, I want to say a big thanks before we get into the prayer today, Leo, um, to everybody that has booked a personal private reading with me. Every last single deck on this table, which we have eight new decks. Actually, we have more than eight new decks, but I only have eight decks on the table today. But all of these decks are brand new and were purchased and or sent to me through the um, Amazon wish list uh while i was on break so again thank you guys for looking out and support me and just allowing me to put new love and energy on the table so again shout out to everyone that i've been um connecting to uh, with over my break so let's just give god his flowers um give him recognition and praise before we get into this energy today you will mind by your head with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. Thank you so much for keeping us encouraged. Thank you so much for keeping us determined and just staying on our goal, on our path, Father God. We're just continuing to take major leaps forward, Father God. We've just been, um, I want to say working hard. Like you guys just been continuously pushing forward, steady on your path. I don't want to. I don't feel like y'all missed a step anywhere. Um, I just feel like you guys are just kind of trying to figure out where is your next destination or like where are you supposed to go from here. Um, trying to get your footing together to make the next big move. So, Father God, if you wouldn't mind, please giving us the guidance that we need to receive for the sign of Leo for July 2021. Father God, you know, we are leaders. We're here to just like handle things and make sure it's done the correct way and done with honor and integrity for sure to represent us right so father god just help us to you know just make the next moves that a leader would make and a leader would take in the name of jesus amen and amen and amen let me figure out what the heck is going on with y'all what y'all about to do hold on because i just feel like it was a pause before it's like a pause for planning or something. I don't know why I feel like it's someone about to take, like, jump off a cliff. Or it's like you're about to jump. Or do something very, uh, daredevilish. It's like, uh, it's like take a major risk or something like that. Um, or something that would bring a lot of adrenaline and incitement or something. But it's like, you want to check the reviews. You want to check what uh, you know it's, it's like you want to do your research before you kind of like get into the intricacies of things i kind of want to let me keep shopping it still came back out i knew it was i knew it was it okay thank you for confirming it let me pick up these two that fell on the floor is this pie right it is pyrite. And then this is the Leo. This is Leo and Mars. So it says pyrite, luck, prosperity, success. The gold standard when it comes to crystals, pyrite attracts abundance, wealth, and prosperity. Known as fool's gold, pyrite encourages you to follow your dreams and envision your desires. Manifesting powers are high when this crystal is at play. Pyrite has that spark literally pyrite can create fire when struck against another stone or metal and is believed to contain the element of fire in its core pyrite is also acts as a powerful protector shielding you from negativity and protecting you it, hold on on shielding you from negativity and protecting the integrity of your aura 
Strike fast and don't look back. Remember I was saying something about someone taking a risk? Are y'all feeling this? And I stared at that pie white car. Because I was like, there's too many cars. I wanted to put it back. But then I was like, mm, and then it fell right back out, y'all. Let me, I got a big old nugget of pie right, right here, too. Nice, pretty piece of pie right. So we could put y'all right there. Hello, pie right. Go ahead and bless this, this reading, why don't you? All right, now. And I like how that heart. Okay, hold on now. Let's find out what's going on with y'all, Leo. Leo, what it be, baby? Hold on. Hello, Shalala. What it be, baby? What you got going on? Y'all feeling lucky. Y'all feeling spicy. Okay, like I got. I'm like someone about to just jump out there, like about to like a daredevil almost. It's like you're about to jump off a fucking cliff. But it's like you got the parachute and everything. It's like I feel like someone like excitement. They want something that revs their engine, like their adrenaline or something. They feel like doing something extreme. You got the nine of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. What's that about? Let me look at you, girl. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. I heard someone could be on a gambling streak. Someone can be on a gambling streak. It's like... And I hear it's cards, too. It's like gambling streak with cards. Like, y'all be doing too much... Uh, it's like you a high bidder with cards. And I want to say whoever you are is like you're really good with it. But I want to say be careful because I want to say that you could lose some money gambling. And if you do go gamble, carry some pyrite in your pocket. Carry some pyrite and... um. Some pyrite in like in a little bag. Put like some ginger and some cloves. Put some ginger powder and some whole cloves in your um, in your pocket. Like get like a, a, a little. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Get like a little bag or something. Like uh, I don't know. Maybe not like this, but like. Yeah, and like put your pyrite, put some, um, like I said, some cold cloves and like ginger powder or something. Or like a little baggie or something. I don't know. It's like to kind of ward off bad luck or something because I feel like with that nine of pentacles, it's like you're going to be tempted to where you were lucky and you did win some money it's like you're not going to know where to when to stop it's like you it's like that thing of greed will creep up on you and you will push your luck do you understand what i'm saying so please watch yourself with the gambling um because i don't want you to lose all your money because it's like you don't it's like you don't know you you're going to push your luck you know so please watch that. What is that? You got the temperance. Yes, again, balance. It is, and then again, it's like, this is someone believing in their self, like, you know, highly. And it's like, you know your will is your way, and you did not come in there to lose. Do you understand what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, you got to be grounded. You have to be balanced. It's like, you have to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. I don't know why I feel like someone is going gambling. Someone is gambling or this could be like a friend. I don't know if you're having to be that pyrite, that piece of prosperity for somebody. And just like, you know, if you feel hot, you feel lucky, you feel tempted, do it. But know when to stop. I don't know if you're going to be that person on the side. Just put tugging a person's arm be like, okay, that's enough. Let's cash out. Because, you know what I'm saying? Let's cash out. Like, just know when to cash out. Have that balance. It's like, certain people can rely too much on faith and don't rely as much on 
reality. You have to, you can't have your head in the clouds all the time. You have to be grounded in reality as well. That's why that, te that temperance is right there. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to have both. You know? So, please watch yourself. Watch your finances, you guys. Give me one more card, please. Thank you so much for my Leos. You got the garden. I like that. So, um, I don't feel like some type of public recognition. And then the cross. So, it's like, um, there could be like some type of public recognition. Um, and it's like some something you could be destined for. It's like, I don't, it, I don't know. I, I, I feel like, um. I don't I feel like whatever your belief is, whatever you have a strong belief in, it's starting to get recognition and starting to be seen and starting to be public. Or you might see some circulation in the media. Um, but it's something that you have strong belief in. It's like you have it's like you're destined to do something. And it has something to do with the risk that is being taken. And I don't know if you would like um, pouring your money into like uh, sponsorships or something. It's like I'm sponsoring. It's like you could have sponsored some events and it's like I'm doing it for the recognition, you know, for me to be seen. I know if I sponsor this, it's this Nissan event or, or something. It's like a Nissan sponsored event, but my name, my business, my company is going to be on the monarchy. Or it's going to be in the digital um, ads. I'm getting all of this notoriety next to Nissan. So even though I might have spent more money, it's like you probably couldn't afford to do something but... I feel like it was a balanced risk because you feel like it was a faded opportunity. It was the, the, the chance that you needed to. It's like God bought you this opportunity. And it's like, I got to jump on this shit. Even if I go broke now, it'll pay later. Like, trust me. Like, you can have your, your, your you know, close to your heart. It's like you. It's like your faith holds heavy in, in, in what's going on right now um I want to say it's like you're trusting in the elements it's like you're trusting in your belief system like even if you have to give everything you got to give into this it's like you trust that it's faded like that's kind of what I'm getting it's like it's like God's going to carry me. I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm feeling. I'm about to take like this big risk. I'm about to risk it all at this point. But I believe. And even it's like. I feel like you know your limits. It's like you know your issues when it comes to gambling or something. You know sometimes you don't know how to walk away or that you you will risk too much. Like I said, you are high better or something. It's like you, you would take your your whole pocket change and throw it on the table for one bet. But a lot of times you win. You know what I'm saying? Like you know when you feel lucky. And even like I guess just a one off bad luck, you know what to do. Like I said, pyrite crystals. You put a little ginger in there to like intensify the luck opportunity you know what i'm saying ginger intensifies it brings in faster it's, it's it's spicy it's strong do you understand what i'm saying strong chances of luck do you understand clovers luck you know what i'm saying shit you can even put some fucking mint in your goddamn pocket put that shit in there too put some dry mint in there okay give me one call right in the center please one call for leo what is this? The Prince of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So, okay. The, okay. So, I heard something about something being rejected. It's like something being rejected. Um, but it's for your own good. I don't know. That's why I, 
I feel like something is being rejected, but it's for your own good. Um, it's like something wouldn't have been... Your wishes wouldn't have been fully fulfilled in some type of way. Or it's like... Something wasn't, wasn't going to offer what you were willing to give. It's like... Someone is not willing to match your offer. I want to say, like, you might not, you might have more money than this person have. Like, you have more to offer. It's like it's not a balanced, uh. I, want to, I don't know why I want to say it's like you got more than you think you got. Because if you had that much to risk. You got even more to gain. I, I don't know why I want to say that. It's like. Remember I was saying something like. Watch. Your betting. It's like watch it. Make sure. Because I'm going to put it to you like this. There are people that. Because they're high rollers. You feel what I'm saying? Betting. Your whole pocket to you is nothing. Right? I guess because I feel like you've done it before. I want to say some, something about this over here. It's like it's something, you've never seen someone do something like that. It's like you've never seen someone take a risk like that. And it's like... I want to say it's like... They get scared to walk away because I want to say they just, they don't, I want to say like they don't have no money. It's like they don't, because again, it's like a sponsorship. It's like they want you to sponsor them and what they're doing. It's like they, if they had the money, they wouldn't have needed the sponsors. Do you see what I'm saying? So, um, I don't. I feel, I feel like it's a. Uh, it's like someone's not gonna let you spend your money like that. It's like they're not. They're gonna tell you don't. I don't know why I feel like that. But I, I kind of like want one more card. Give me one more card. Thank you. What is this? The Queen of Pentacles. It's like. Um. I feel like it's like some. It's like something being rejected by the bank. The Queen of Pentacles. And she's bad. This bitch is bad as shit. God damn. Fine and shit. God damn, who is this? Like, girl, you was good. You look good as fuck. God damn. Real exoticals. God damn. It's like somebody's. I want to say that application, it, it gets rejected. Um, it's either because it's too big of a risk. Or you don't understand the terms or something. It's like you 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 gambling too hard. It's like you don't understand because you could lose all of this money. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like only thing you may be getting is the public recognition, but you may not be getting the the, the money back on the back end. But you may be publicly known. I don't know why. It's like. I want to say it's like someone that has a better sense of checks and balances. And it's like it's not going to allow. It's like it's too big of a risk even for the bank to take. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm, I, I would like to grant this to you. And everything. But And I'm glad that you have this money to offer or to put up. But the bank isn't going to take a risk like that. Like, I can't. I know you really want me to give this to you or for us to loan you this money or something. Or But it's like, nah, it's like something is being denied. It's like, you can't, you we can't, we can't, we can't extend our assets like that. Or it's like, you're too risky. I, I, I don't, I feel like, I don't know if it's someone trying to apply for a credit card or something like that. But it's like. You are too frivolous. You 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 too much of a risk because you gamble too much. It's like you, you do too much and you spend too quickly or something like that. It's like you bet it all. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll go and max your card out 
and not even sure how you're going to get the money to pay it back or something like that. So it's like, I would love to give it to you because you're a nice person and everything like that. But you take too big of a fucking gamble. It would be too big of a gamble. It would be too big of a risk. It's like, I need to see some. It's like, I kind of have faith in you, but I need to see some balance. I need to see more growth. I need to see it publicly, like either in your um, credit score or something. I don't know why I'm feeling like I need to talk about someone's credit scores. Like I need to see growth. I need to see because the eight of the eight of spades. It's like shit. The eight of spades is like a uh, confinement. You know what I'm saying? Like stagnancy or you know what I'm, um being held back from something you know what i'm saying the six of clubs though is where i want to say like that is movement it's like transition it's uh it's like things working for the for the better of everybody and again like i want to say it was it's faded or something like that so Again, I don't know if it's like someone didn't have enough money or it's too big of a risk or something like that, but it's something like that. Again, it's like they need to see more balance. I don't know, but I want to keep saying, like, I feel like there's someone's going to be apologizing. It's that a lot. Like, I know you're a really good person, but I don't know. Circles. I don't off the break when I started to see these circles. It felt like it's some type of cycle. Um, it's like you may need to. It's like your bank account might need to complete a couple of cycles, or you need to show a couple of positive cycles that you can repay this loan without defaulting or making late payments or something like that. It's like if you can show a better payment cycle or payment history or something it's like they might think about taking a risk on you but other than that it's like i want to say like you're going to be refused from the bank um what is it saying remind yourself that you are a soul spirited being okay I, I, I don't know why I get, remember, I, I feel, okay, I feel like where I was before I even started pulling the cards out. It's like having to take that second to think before you just jump out there. It's like, do I risk it all? Because, like, I know that there's a chance that I might not get anything but public notoriety. It's like I spent all my money just for a few acts and a few mentions and for a 15 minutes of fame but it's like is it worth the opportunity and I feel like because I feel like the bank is not going to cover something so it's like you might have to spend your own money and if you spend your own money you gonna spend all your money because it's like if you apply for some application for like a loan so I don't know. It's like, it, it was, I don't know. I feel like you have to show some positive payment history before someone does, before a loan gets approved. Give me guidance and love for Leo. Give me guidance and love for Leo for July 2021. Thank you so much. Maturity it, again cuz in my head it just saying a positive payment history a positive payment history that everything will be cool It's like I need I need to just show I Need to know that I'm not taking a financial risk. It's like I Need to see the growth. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like um 
I want to say everything is not based off of luck. It's based off of being blessed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you could feel lucky, but things can still not turn out the way that you want it to, but it's for the best. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's about some type of learning. And again, I want to say take calculated risk because, again, you may only get the public recognition and things like that, but you still may be limited. You know what I'm saying? You, Because, again, with that eight of spades, it's like you may be limited only to you seeing growth in your outwardsly appearance. I feel like not in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to trickle into your pocket it's only for growth you know what i'm saying and then you got dating too okay hello all right now so in regards to the love thing you got maturity and dating so i definitely feel like you guys are the wiser one in the picture it's like you're growing there's growth there's a lot of i want to say regal steps um uh, 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 it's about learning it's about learning the person that you're with before you really give your heart to the person. And I feel like that is where you feel more comfortable to just meet and date around and get to know people and kind of figure out who kind of messes with you. Um, you've been through that phase before where it's like I've put out more than I've received. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's like with this nine of pentacles and this prince of cups in the reverse it's like i spent it's like all that wasted time all that wasted energy i didn't learn nothing i didn't gain nothing i don't even want the situation do you feel what i'm saying so it's like with this um queen of pentacles this is someone is a very is a master of creativity is a master of time is a master of abundance is a master of all things that is glamourful i don't know if glamourful is a word i'm just making them shit but just like a pillar of strength, like this person has a lot of skill, a lot of integrity, respects their money, respects their time. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like I could have grown beyond that phase right now with this temperance here. It's like balance and with this faith, it's like you're letting your faith carry you through. You know, that good things are coming to you. You just got to keep your head out of the fucking sky all of the goddamn time. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I can believe that... It's like, it's like, I feel like in a point in your life, you took a lot of uncalculated risks where you relied on your faith too much and not necessarily on logic. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like with this maturity, it's like, you know better. You know what I'm saying? Remind yourself that you are a soul spirited being. With that being said, it's like, you on both sides of this fence. You're a very spiritual person, but you're a very grounded person as well. Um, you rely on your faith more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Once you believe in something, oh baby, you believe in it. And you will take that risk and you will jump out there and you will be dedicated to whatever it is that you believe in. You know what I'm saying? But um, And right now, I feel like regardless of what, you feel lucky and, and I want to say you're willing to take a risk in something. I don't know if it is to get the public thing. It's like if you're willing to risk everything just to be seen and just to have this moment. It says, let go of inhibitions. Be creative. Allow your imagination to run wild. Your love life will transform in ways you've never thought possible. Again, it's like I want to be seen. It's, it's, just, it's like my time to do this. I don't know if it's about like not having the financial backing or something to make you. I feel like to give you that kind of comfort that you really want. It's like, fuck that shit. I feel good. It's like, I want to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to do it. Um, even if I feel like even if you don't really get. The true fulfillment that you were looking for. It's like at least I took the chance. At least I took the risk. It's like, you know how many people don't even jump out there to just say, well, shit, at least I tried. Um, 
people see me do it and I and, and it's like hand on it's like hand on the cross or something like that. It's like I put my all into something. Like I put my all in it. If I'm not known for nothing, I'm known for that. Even if, I feel like even if it didn't turn out to what you want it to be. I don't know why I feel like someone's a fucking daredevil. It's like I still want to say I did it though. I don't know if this is dating. You just jumping out there dating and maybe you don't have the money to date. But you feel lucky. Uh, <laughs> it's like you feel balanced. You know what I'm saying? And you're just letting go of inhibitions. If the inhibitions is I don't have financially I don't look the way I want to look but I feel mature, I feel able, I feel lucky, I, I want to go public, I want people to know that I'm out here, the five, oh shit, the five of wands, it's like I'm, <laughs> it's like a wild horse, it's like, oh my god, it's like, uh, it's like you are ready to, it's like I might not have the money backing, but I got the tenacity to run over the competition, it's like there is nobody that has more skill than me, that has more power than me. It's like something, it's like I could do what I want to do. It's like I could beat the competition. It's not about I don't know why. I feel like especially in love, it's like Leo feels like brute strength. It's like with my brute strength, I'm stronger than the rest of these people. It's like I'll run them. It's like I'm untamed. I'm uncontrollable. You, you you never know what I'm going to do. You never know how I'm going to show up. It's like I'm the wild card. I'm the one that they didn't expect to come in and steal the show. So it's like, and I'm the one that ain't have shit. But some public recognition or something like that. It's like, I'm not scared. It's like, I'm going to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? I really want, give me one for... I don't know why I keep wanting to go on this Prince of Cups in the middle. Please give me one card for the Prince of Cups. What is this? The Ace of Swords. I'm getting the unlikeliest unicorn. So, I heard it's like I'm not sure, but I'm going to do it anyway. I keep hearing that. It's like this stubbornness to just like... I know I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can be. I'm not sure if I could do it, but it's something about this person. I want to say this person likes a fair fight. This person likes to compete. This person likes to. It's like I might not be the smartest, but I'm the strongest. I don't know. It's like it's like these people try to. I don't know if it's a competition of something. I really feel like whoever this is is really not sure if they're going to win. Some type of competition and some type of something, and it's like. Okay, with this here, I'm feeling like with the, the, the five of wands in the eight of spades, in the garden. I feel like it's like someone wants to run wild and free. It's like they're trying to get away from some type of confinement. I don't want to be held back. I want, it's like I want to be in the spotlight, but it's like, I feel like, uh, there's a financial burden on someone where they feel like they can't compete. But I feel like sexually they can compete. Like if it was a challenge of skill or body or physique or, 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 or looks, they could compete. But financially, it's like they can't. And it's like I feel like they just like want to try their luck or something like that. It's like I'm more mature, I have more skill, I have, what is this, the temperance, 
I like, okay, so the temperance. Shit, you got the temperance twice. So for this temperance right here, it's like, I want to say it's like access to the other side. If y'all look at this, it's like, I, you, you, I feel like it's some type of help. It's like assistance. It's like some type of assistance. It's like you still get in. It's like you still get in. It's like some type of faded type of... It's like you didn't have to wait too long. Uh, I, I, I really feel like it's like your fucking luck or something. It's like... I want to say like no one even fucking seen you coming. It's like you just come through and it's like you you beat all the fucking competition. You knock everybody the fuck down. It's like you didn't even have the money to even get in there or you didn't even have the credentials or it's something about this. Not, it's like you didn't have something to show up, but you showed up anyway. It's like you just like. This is like someone just coming and knock, knocking on a celebrity's door and just like, listen, I know I shouldn't be here. I got past security, but like, just please, can you just give me a second? I just need a second to talk to you. I just want to show you something like the garden can even be like meeting someone. It's like a, a meetup. It's like a chance, an opportunity to present something, to show something to someone, the let me see. Let me go to the garden just to make sure I'm not fucking tripping. The garden means community, social, interactions, culture, beauty, recreation, enjoyment. It says the garden illustrates a special place to interact with other people and with nature to be enjoyed and beauty. The setting may be a public space such as a park and museum or it may involve a private social gathering such as a party or reception. The mini garden depicted here suggests that a group dynamic are, or a social structure, I don't know what the fuck they were trying to say, where individuals um, contribute their talents, their energy for the benefit of it all. What the group of people can accomplish together is far greater than what any one person can do alone. The garden card may refer to networking clubs communities meeting recreation support group conferences fundraisers leisure activities cultural events it's the setting itself that is um not important as a sense of enjoyment derived from participating in the communal activities remember i was saying something about like a sponsorship or something like that and it's like you could have like spent all of your fucking money just to have access in this meeting to be seen. It's like for the opportunity to present yourself. You know what I'm saying? And again, it's like, I don't know. Because with this Prince of Cups here and this Ace of Swords, I want to say, please be confident. Please be sure of yourself. Please be aware of what you're offering and how, what you're, because the Prince of Cups in the reverse could be someone that's not sure of their self, that could come off insecure or not sure that they fit in or their talents, because it does have something to do with your gifts, like that your talents are not up to par. Do you understand what I'm saying? And somehow you got the fuck in here. Like it was faded. Like you're being given a chance to speak in a set of my, like you present yourself with confidence. Do you understand what I'm saying? No one has to know that you spent all your fucking money just to get in here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like it's like something about you deserving this opportunity. So pay attention. If you jumped out there and you took a risk, you better be well prepared to make sure that you see the shit through. And that's the only thing I'm going to say. In regards to a dating situation, like, just put yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? Put yourself out there. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. I feel like you're being given the, you're given the access in. 
You know what I'm saying? Just keep yourself together. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep yourself together. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave this here. Y'all let me know what this... Y'all let me know how this resonates down in the chat, okay? I love y'all. Y'all hit the like button. Peace.